Hello, welcome back to this channel or welcome to this channel. My name is Jackie and I'm obsessed with planners and journals. Today I have an unboxing first impressions and pen and watercolor test video in my first ever Archer and Olive notebook and this is a B6 size as you can probably tell by the box maybe or by the title uh, but this is my very first Archer and Olive uh, bullet journal and I'm just super excited to see this in person to see how it feels how it looks how like the linen on the cover feels like and I decided to do that on camera so you can uh, have my true first impressions of this journal. So if you want to see all of that, just keep watching. So the box is just beautiful, like it's this crispy white that I think it's just like a, a preview of the pages that I know are crispy white as well, with the beautiful symbol of Archer and Olive embossed in gold foil, it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful packaging. So let me open and ooh, I love this, this is so exciting. So we have some paper, oh it's a nice paper, it's not tissue paper. and. Oh, this is so satisfying. It's beautiful. Woo! Okay, so this is how it looks. I got the Vintage B. I think that's how it's called, uh, which is like this nice vintage blue. I think that's a nice way to describe it. Uh, and the cover, it is like a type of linen or cloth. It's really nice. I know it will get dirty super easy so i'm not sure how i'm going to take care of that maybe i should order like some cloth spray cloth protection spray or something if you have a recommendation please let me know because i will need that hello editing jackie here and i need to tell you that i filmed this video almost two months ago and the cover is already super dirty and well loved but i still need your recommendations for my next ones so if you have any please leave them down below thank you so much so i can be like um more relaxed about getting all messy and dirty and then it has like this beautiful uh, b embossed in gold so it is a b6 size and i'm going to compare with an a5 so you can see um the difference so this is my London gift is A5 notebook and as you can see it's a huge uh, difference. Now you can see it better. Uh, but it's still a nice size and I think it I think I prefer the B6 size actually. I think it will be more portable and it feels really nice like on the hands. I, I like that. But this is the comparison of an A5 and a B6. And you can see the difference in colors from the Archer and Olive and the London Gift pages right there. Okay, now it's time to open this. Oh my God. Oh, and also I forgot to mention the paper is 106, 160 GSM. And this specific book comes with 112 pages and they are dot grid pages. So it's like perfect for uh, creating a bullet journal. I will be probably following Ryder Carroll's uh, the bullet journal method because I really want this to be functional. So I will be reading this book for one of my summer reads and I will try this system in here to see if I can be more um, efficient with my uh, work planning. I will still be using my Hobonichi cousin, don't worry about that, but I just want to try something extra to help me organize my work and my thesis now that everything is just like upside down. Okay, and this is how it looks on the back. And I really, really enjoy the fact that you don't have any branding on the notebook itself. I really enjoy that, like on the cover, um, it's nice and it feels really good. Then we have an elastic band, which is like a different color of blue, but I think they go very well together. And then the pen loop is black, which um, I was expecting it to be like the same color 
of the cover but i like the combination of colors actually and the pen loop is like really um like down below which can be a problem with some pens so we should try something and it is an elastic pen loop so i will try a zebra sarasa you have to just press it a little bit but yeah then it will be uh, just okay and i think it will fit oh, most of pens because it is an elastic pen loop but you will have to struggle a little bit with some but like with a muji pen a muji gel pen is just like perfect and i think this is the one i'll be using here the most so that's it for the pen loop if you want to see it up close this is how it looks i'm postponing opening it you know i like to postpone my joy <laughs> but it is time oh boy this is white this is super super white oh wow it's i will need to get used to that uh, anyhow, this is like the first page. You just have uh, a little spread where, where you can write your name. And I know myself, I won't write my name for like a couple of months because I will be afraid. And then one day I will just like, oh, whatever, just write your name and then I will hate it forever. <laughs> so, uh, but it is nice to have a place like an intro right here. So you have this book, Belongs To, and then Archer and Olive and the website. And I think that's it. Then you will go directly to the dot grid um, pages. And they are not numbered uh, the same as the London Gifts journal, which I personally enjoy. Uh, the pages are really, really white. They are whiter than the London Gifts. But then if you want, I can do just a video comparing uh, a couple of these journals. But I won't do this right now or else this video will be longer than it will probably already be the dots seems like they are they kind of seems like in a blue like almost matching um the cover yeah it's hard like they are really uh they are there and you can definitely see them but they are um not like on your face so you will be able to create beautiful spreads even if you want to ignore uh, the dotted pages and let's see uh, you will need a little bit of breaking so the book will stay flat but it will stay flat um, I think I think that's okay you will probably need to use a paper clip right here uh, but then with use I think it will be okay now the bookmarks the archer and olive journals comes with two bookmarks which i think it's awesome one is just like a plain bookmark and the other one you have like this beautiful um like archer and olive symbol um thing <laughs> is this like kind of like a, a a pendant or something like that it's really it's really pretty for beautiful and it feels like um high quality and I, I just like mixed beautiful and pretty it's pretty full <laughs> it's really beautiful I like this uh, it feels like really nice uh, and I'm excited to use this then at the back you have a paper pocket right here where you can add uh, your ephemera or like memorabilia or receipts or whatever you need to add here and it's kind of a nice size i usually do not tend to use these pockets a lot but i need to start using them because they are there for a reason right and that's it for the overview of the book now i have a couple of pens that i want to test and also some watercolors so we are moving on to that Okay, so I have a couple of things I want to test in here. So we are moving on to the pen test. <laughs>
okay so this is how my pen and marker test went out and i'm going to turn the page as well to see if there is bleeding or shadowing and we will investigate together um, i can tell that the paper sucks up the ink quite fast it's totally different from tomo river paper but yeah you can see um, it's not coming on my finger um, but this is not um, the perfect paper for fountain pen, at least I don't think so, um, but I think I will be okay writing with fountain pen in this uh, book. Okay, let's turn the page, and perfect, perfect, look at this, uh, there is like, I can't see shadowing, only I can only see shadowing on the Sharpie marker as I was even expecting it to bleed through um, because, okay, I was just checking uh, if I, it, it was like the back of the right page because I was expecting more shadowing as with the London Gifts paper, um, but it's just like only the Sharpie, you can see some shadowing. I hope you can see with the lighting, uh, but there is no bleed through no that that's just shadowing that's impressive so i decided to test some layering as well with ink on top of markers and inks and we had an unexpected visitor <laughs> but yeah that's what you are seeing me doing and i will show you the results okay so this was not what i was expecting at all so it did well writing on top of the markers, both the mild liners and uh, the tombow markers. I had a problem in here in this specific color. I don't know why when I came back, it, it was just fine. So I'll have to check that out. Uh, but here, when I wrote with the pen first, both gel pens, both Muji and Sarasa, um, they smudged a little bit and I was not expecting that because that was a different, different experience from my London Gifties, which is like the same GSM paper. Uh, but then the fountain pens that I was expecting like to smudge a lot, they did not smudge. So that, that was interesting. So uh, yeah, you can see a little bit of smudging with uh, the Lamy pen, but not as much as with the gel pens and maybe uh, if i like have uh, left it to dry a little bit it would be okay and i will keep doing tests as i'm using the notebook of course and i will check in later on to let you know but let's see if there is shadowing or bleeding and none none whatsoever it's just perfect like if shadowing or bleeding bothers you this is the way to go because it's just fine. Uh, so now I will just do some tests with my Prima Marketing watercolors and let's see if this can take watercolors. I know this is not supposed to be watercolor paper and I know even with watercolor papers we do have some problems when we add a lot of water but I want to test it anyhow because I've been loving to use watercolors everywhere. Okay, so first considerations of the watercolor uh, swatch. Um, the paper like sucks up the ink quite fast as i already told you it's basically dry like okay not not that dry but um it's going to dry fast especially because it's super hot here in my office uh, that means you have to kind of work uh, faster um, because then you will have the ink where you first put it it will be difficult to keep working with the ink and also I was expecting that because of course this is not watercolor paper. So if you keep working, uh, it will pro we will probably have some problems. So I will try to do here a wet on wet technique just to see how the paper is going to react to that. So I'm going to add a lot of water because I wanna see how the ink is going to answer to that. 
you can see that the ink kind of flows a little bit like you are expecting in watercolor paper but not a lot, not a lot because of course this is not watercolor paper but i think you would be able to work with it and create beautiful uh, watercolor illustrations the paper is holding up quite well so let's try uh, mixing up with different colors and adding like more water to see if it will hold up or if it will give up there's a lot of water as you can see here we have puddles forming I'm going to let it dry. I want to see how this super wet paint will hold up to the paper or if we will have some bleedings. Okay, so I'm back and I think everything is dry. Um, I think I was out for half an hour maybe because I got distracted uh, watching a little bit of YouTube uh, but now it is time for us to see uh, if there is any bleeding or if the water uh, went through the paper uh, but what I can already see is that the page is all wrinkled and of course that was expected and if you are a subscriber you know that I love a good wrinkled paper uh, but that was expected because this is not supposed to be watercolor paper it does not claim to be watercolor paper and that happens even with specific watercolor paper so I'm not surprised uh, but it seems to have um, hold up pretty well uh, but let's just show you how wrinkled it is uh, that's not a problem for me I know oops there are videos showing how um, to prevent that or to remediate that but I love a good wrinkled paper that's why I love Tomo River paper so much uh, but yeah let's turn the page and I think we have a tiny bit of, it's not, maybe it was like a little bit of water that came through. Oh, you can see that on camera right here in this spot, but um, just a tiny bit. And it's nothing serious because you remember there was a lot of water uh, in that. And I could probably uh, paint right here as well. Uh, and no shadowing, just like the wrinkled uh, paper. And yeah, that's it. I'm really impressed. I think the paper is super high quality. I'm really excited to start using this book. I'm even more excited to try uh, a, a, an Archer and Olive planner for next year because I know Emmy Tangerine will be doing a, another collaboration with them. So I'm excited about that. And I think the paper just like is just high quality. It's super nice. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye.